Hi, I'm Shelly and I'm with Little Books and Little Cooks from the University of Nevada, Reno Extension Office. If you've ever taken Little Books and Little Cooks class, you know that we learn how to cut and peel in that class. And today that's what I'm going to show you how to do. For safety's sake, always have a parent in the kitchen with you. Also, the first thing you need to do is wash your hands. Then get your utensils out. I have a cutting board, a knife, and a peeler. Now there's some things that are easy to peel, like a banana or an orange. We're not gonna peel those today, but they're easy because you can do it with your hands. A little bit tougher is a carrot, which I've already peeled to practice, or an apple. It's tougher because it's round. So when you're peeling a carrot, you want to hold it in one hand, hold your peeler in the other hand, and peel away from you. Sometimes the peels get stuck and you can just pull them off. Okay. And then we're going to cut our carrot. Now when you cut your carrot, you want to make sure that you hold it firmly in one hand and cut with the other hand. This might be difficult for younger children, so parents, beware and know that it takes a lot of strength to cut through a carrot. Maybe your four and five year olds can do it. You want to cut through, sawing and pushing down at the same time. Cut, push, saw. There we go. We've got two pieces of carrot. Now I'm going to peel an apple. And an apple is a little harder to peel because it's round. And so the first thing you want to do is learn how to hold it. You put your thumb at the bottom of the apple and your middle finger at the top of the apple. Watch out for these other fingers so that they don't get peeled. Be careful. And again, you peel away from you. Now you go all the way around to peel the apple, and once you get through with that, you can peel the top and the bottom. You just peel straight across. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it over and peel the bottom the same way. You'll notice where I peeled, there's still a little bit left, and so I'm gonna touch that up a little bit. and you've peeled your apple. Now I'm not going to peel the whole apple for time's sake, but I am going to cut it and I'm going to show you how to cut it. Let your mom or grandma or dad or whoever is watching you in the kitchen, needs to be an adult, help you cut. Maybe they should take the first cuts on the apple because it's difficult to cut. Again, sawing and pushing down. Okay, we're going to cut this piece. And this piece actually fell apart. But that's okay because you just need to cut these pieces in. I'm making cubes because I'm going to put this in a fruit salad. Here we go. We've cut our apple in cubes. And now that you know how to peel and cut, you can add all kinds of fruit to your fruit salad. So thanks for tuning in today. If at the end you'll see my email, if you'll send me your name and your street address, I'll mail you out a knife similar to this that you'll be able to cut and peel at home. Thanks for viewing. Bye-bye.